look at the palette tutorials in Explain 10. Today I'm going to be showing you how to program the flight management computer on the Boeing 777-200LR created by Ramses Aviation. Alright, so without further ado, let's get started. I'm currently at Brussels International Airport or EBBR for the ICAO code. Alright, so just a basic introduction to the 777-200 by Ramses Aviation. Well, this is different to any other aircraft on this simulator of X-Plane 10 because this is a professional version so therefore it has the different flight management computer settings, different ILS landing systems and also it's a very complex aircraft. Okay, so I know it's a bit of a confusing type of cockpit here, not basic so therefore let me break this down and make it easy for you so the flight management computer in this Boeing 777-200 is the motherboard of this entire plane it, it can control anything, any item you want with this flight management computer this is the main menu of the FMC so today I'm gonna just demonstrate or program a basic route from Brussels International Airport to London Gatwick okay so so let's get started now so I click on FMS 1 first so as you can see there's an error message it says FMC message on this area this means that there is an error message on the FMC nav data out of date so that's because we haven't entered anything to our database so nothing to worry about that you just clear it this is our basic aircraft identity. It tells us the model, the um, suitable navigation data, and the programming. Nothing to worry about here, too. So we just carry on with position initiating. Reference airport. Reference airport is the airport you should enter to the current airport you are at. Well, it's not that necessary. And always remember that if ever it is with a dash, the lines, it means that it's optional. So, but anyway, I'll just add it in as a reference. So, I'm at get, I'm currently at Brussels E double B R. Type it under that and place it there. Gate. I'm not gonna add it since it's not optional. So, I click go ahead route. All right. Now, remember, as I said earlier, that these dash lines are optional. But however, if there are squares, it means that it is required information for the aircraft system to calculate. All right. So our original airport and finally our destination. So our original airport is EBBR, the simulator reference. Runway not necessary. Our destination is Gatwick. So GKK. There, there we are. Flight number, I'm just gonna add one one one. And runway is not necessary as I said earlier. I activate that. Okay, so this gives a basic summary of what we just entered mod RTE1. So basically, you just refer each one to check whether it's correct. So, yep, since everything is there, I click this flashing yellow light or execute. That will program the computer and we'll end up here so if you want to see you can want to click it to the flight plan and here we are so it's all given we'll move on to the third stage now of performance initiate this is uh, one of the most important pages of this FMC basic takeoff tutorial because this is basically the most important page for calculations of the aircraft. So the ZFW can wavy, you can add between 125 if you like. Reserves, I'm just gonna add two. And the one that needs a short flight, so cruising altitude. I'm gonna cruise at flight level 150 or 15,000 feet. Cost index, I am, um, to be honest, I'm not that sure exactly what that means. So therefore, I usually add something like 89 or something. It doesn't make any difference. Alright, 
so here we are, error message, whoops, unable cruise altitude. That means either the ZFW or reserves are too, too much or too low. So we just request an ideal amount, clear our error message and continue. Thrust limitations are the maximum limits in which the engine will accelerate on takeoff. So we have first have to basically enter the outside air temperature 14 degrees. The aircraft will automatically calculate the amount 100.3% on N1. So which means here, N1 will have to come up to 100.3. 100.3, so it's set. Then I go to take off, which is the final stage. Actually, yeah. This is the final stage and basically another very important type of element in the takeoff tutorial because this is the one in which we can program our V speeds. V speeds are the speeds for takeoff on in knots. So therefore first I'm gonna enter my flaps usually five degrees. C G is usually another type of calculation but I can usually add twenty six which is something standard. You can request it if you like again. So here these speeds 132, 144, 159. V1 is usually the this usually the safety speed or the speed to remind you that you are very close upon takeoff. We are at the speed in which the nose lifts off the ground. And finally V2 is an important decision speed. Suppose one engine on triple seven fails on takeoff, one fifty nine knots is a speed to decide whether to about to take off by cutting power or the speed in which you can fly with one engine. So I'm just going to turn reference speeds on and execute this like earlier. Right. So now that's done. I have set up all everything practically. I'm just going to browse through my systems and make sure that everything's set correctly. Performance, and set, limitations, came back to my root page, things set. Alright, so runway, it's not that hilarious as I said earlier, but I'll just add it. So practically, as you can see, this is the runway, so I just check the runway, right? So it says 7 left so I just click 7 left oops in my entry play it and do it again there we are that's set so, browse through one more time, cross limitations, no error messages, alright. So, it is possible to program many waypoints and transitions, SIDS, or stars, or anything you'd like for waypoints, but since this is the basic flight, I'm not going to add it, so, therefore, I do not want to confuse you on this, since it's something actually to be honest very confusing all right so everything's set and check so the advantage as I said earlier the FMC will load all you want into your flight ECAM so as you see 11 7 left so that's the runway we're going to take off from and for the approach and you can go back to initial reference index for approach these are the speeds for the flap degrees, 20, 163 knots, 25 degrees, 150 knots, that, that comes off later in your landing. So if you want, you can use the instrument landing system when you're approaching Gatwick, that'll be in my next video. So yep, that's it. So it's not as hard as it looks then. Alright, so thank you for watching, subscribe for more.